Hello and welcome to today's flight test debrief. Today is a slightly different episode than usual and I would like to talk about different sources that students and instructors can use in preparation for their flight test. So the main flight test information source is the official source which is Transport Canada Flight Test Guide. And as boring as it sounds, it is your main reference, it is complete, and if in doubt, that will be the first reference that both you and examiner and even Transport Canada would look into saying how an exercise should be done, what is expected, and how it should be graded. So if you know what is expected of you, you have a much better chance to succeed in the flight test. Uh, there is a separate one for RPP, PPL, CPL, and for all the other flight tests. So take the one that applies to you, download it, print it, whatever you want to do with it, and make sure you highlight or take notes of each exercise's tolerances, the aim of the exercise, and any criteria that are applicable. So if, for instance, uh, the aim of a simulated forced approach is making the field. If the field was not made, that means the purpose of the exercise was not achieved and it will be an automatic one. Uh, so all the other criteria, for example, control of the approach speed, warming up the engine, doing the rest of the procedure will not even matter. If on the other hand, the purpose of the exercise is achieved, then we will start looking into how and look into tolerances and so on. So be really well aware of what's in the flight test guide and follow it in your preparation. The next one is a book that I always recommend it to my students and my instructors is a flight test note publication, flight test notes publication. So you can typically get it from any pilot store, pilot bookstore, or even order online. It's uh, uh, not expensive at all. And that's the best thing you can do in your preparation time. So read this book. Most of the ground questions are pretty much verbatim what uh, you are likely to hear from an examiner. So if you go through all the questions that are for the ground portion, you will probably have a fairly good idea what to expect. It has an advantage of even giving you ready answers if you are flying a Cessna 152. Or if not, you can just find the correct answers uh, f from your POH if it's aircraft question specific. So definitely use this book, use it in your preparation with instructor or on your own uh, time. The next source to refer to is how to nail flight test checklist. I included it in the Canadian Flight Center's publication pilot license for pilots, uh, where we describe all the exercises, the sequence in which they are being taught, the lesson plans, and a few tips uh, for the flight test preparation as well as some advanced um, uh, courses like mountain flying, introduction, cross-border checking, how to uh, fly in the US and back, uh, how to fly in, class, in, in the busy class C airspace of Vancouver and Victoria, and some uh, CPL preparation as well as night rating. So a uh, part of this book is how to nail the flight test checklist. It's not exhaustive, it's not 100%, but it's um, a compilation that I have prepared over some time of the most common mistakes and things to watch for. And I'm sure everybody will pick a couple of things I sometimes refer back to it and remember some things that I wrote back then um, on what are the topics, what are the potential pitfalls to watch for um, in, on the flight test. Uh, the next source that I very much recommend for everyone to watch is the uh, mock flight test that I have filmed a few years ago. Uh, basically the entire flight portion of a flight test uh, commented and explained and it gives you a good idea what to 
expect in what sequence uh, exercises sequence can obviously change but more or less what to expect from the actual flight test um, it's available on YouTube and I will include the link to that video in the comments of this episode as well uh, if you are registered in Canadian Flight Center's online academy, which I will link below as well, uh, you would also have access to the flight training materials course in which we have included additional videos on the ground portion of the flight test, the preparation for it, as well as examiner insights and briefings on, uh, again, the preparation uh, and answering frequent questions from students. And uh, the very last source for your flight test prep are uh, this uh, flight test debrief series, which I hope you find helpful. Uh, feel free to go back, rewatch previous episodes, and if you have questions, you can put them in the comments. I will try to answer them. And until then, um, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. You will be notified of the next uploads, next updates. And uh, we wish you good luck on your flight test.